Please welcome my girl, Taraji P. Henson. <laughs> you are loved. Oh my goodness, I see you. We just love you. You are like, if you, you're not a musician, so I can't say you're the soundtrack <laughs> to our life, but you are every film, TV role. Like, we just remember our lives <laughs> according to your work. Thank you. You just one of those, and you so damn real. That's why we love you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just, I know that it, you just came back from Bali, and I, I saw pictures of you in Bali this year. Girl, <laughs> like this experience for you, was it a spiritual experience? Yeah, I, you know, I've been doing this for 20 some odd years, working, yeah. grinding, whatever you want to call it, and I come up for air and I hit a brick wall. Yeah. I wasn't happy anymore. Um, I lost a sense of joy, a sense of happiness, and so why am I doing all of this? Yeah. And so um, I don't know if you guys heard me on the Angie Martinez show, but I did. Um, you know, I, I didn't know it was gonna affect so many people. You know me, I'm just gonna be me. Exactly. You know, and I was talking to my girlfriend and apparently a lot of people have been feeling like this. And so I decided to take control and, and to find my joy again, that deep joy yes. without a drink. You without know what I mean? Drink, yes. Without any kind of outside anything. And so, I went by myself. You um, went by yourself, no girlfriend. I didn't take yes. any friends. I did, And you know when you're on to something really major, some change in your life, because the negative energy or the devil, or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> will try to seep in. Yes, girl. So I was on my first leg, going from New York to Qatar, and I'm a little claustrophobic. Uh-huh. And, um... But I know what it was. It was that negative energy, the devil trying to stop me from my journey of right. getting back to my peace. And I had a panic attack. You did. But I called my COO, Sante, and she talked to me, and we talked that devil out. And I literally was crying, and I was about to grab my bags and walk off the plane. Mm -hmm, but you stayed. But I stayed. And then I looked, because what happened was there was a wall right here, and I, I panicked because I was like, I'm claustrophobic. I didn't even, re see, that's how fear, if you, if you let fear take over, it will have you believing oh, in it. I didn't even realize I had a whole section over here <laughs> that I could scoot over from the wall. Right. So anyway, I got past my fear. I went and I did the whole trip dry, no drinks. I was drinking mocktails. I had plant-based food. I pr yes. eat, pray, love. That's exactly what that was I met. Trail. Yes. And I met, you know, because going by myself a, a made me stay present. So yes. I had to have conversations with these beautiful people that I met, and we still keep in touch today. That is so awesome. Yeah. My best times, my best vacations are when I go by myself. Yes. With nobody around. I had around. never done that before. Yes, it is, because you get to know you and you, re you talk to God a lot Yes, more. I, I do. did, I you did. Really I was in the middle of a rice field, so it was just <laughs> me and God and the rice. <laughs> well, I know you didn't take your besties with you to Bali, uh, but you got down in Vegas. I saw you with your besties in Vegas. Oh. Y'all, I saw you dropping it low when you were with Usher. <laughs> Okay, tell me about this. You was jamming. Was that a spirit? Look, let me. Was that a spiritual experience over there? Well, it was because I was praying. I was praying to God that my knees didn't fail me. Girl, <laughs> Usher, it looked like he was just. He didn't know where you was going. Girl, you better go ahead. I had a good time. How did you stay? How did you feel on your birthday, like on stage with Usher, follow you like a little puppy? I, Look, I, I felt amazing. On the same kind of blinged out jacket. We didn't yes. talk about what we were wearing. Really? I just showed up and I was like, oh, okay, this is gonna work. I was like, part of the show. Girl, <laughs> it looked like you were having a good time. I had a good time. But what I love is that my girls, they were in the back going, go, T, go! You know, so. <laughs> They'll make you believe you can fly, your girlfriend. I'll tell you, you got to have some good girlfriends <laughs> on the to. list, yeah. girl. 
I love this. Uh, I love Taraji because you are always working. You took a little bit of a break, but now you're back full force. Mm -hmm. Got your joy. You are playing Suge Avery in the upcoming Ooh. Color Purple musical film. Suge <laughs> Avery. Now, okay. let me tell you how I'm excited about this. Now, can you tell us anything? Well, I mean, you know the story. Um, we don't know the story, which you know. Well, you get to see me sing. That is me actually singing every really? song. Oh, yes. wow. Singing and dancing. A lot of people that know that went to Howard, you know, hey, it's you. <laughs> you know? Yes. Right. That's right. But see, people that went to Howard me know I studied musical theater. Oh. Um, but I became a mother in my junior year, and I was like, I got to graduate and start making money. And uh -huh. music theory was like math. So I was like, uh, let me switch my major back to drama so I can graduate. OK. <laughs> but anybody who went with me to How at Howard, they know I can sing. But the world really do You know, people go, but you sang in um, Hustle and Flow. That's not really singing. <laughs> <laughs> You, you sing the hook and then they loop it. I mean, right. and you can do that. You know what I well, mean? Well, you sang good enough to get on the Oscar stage and you sang it at the Oscars. I remember that. <laughs> they weren't yeah. looping nothing. No, you they was amazing. That. I, you know, I just, you have such a body of work. I want to congratulate you because you starred um, on Abbott Elementary. <laughs> Working with oh, all of the people. First of all, let's give it up for Quinta. Yes. I am. We love this sister. I'm so proud of oh, her. Oh my goodness. I, she is the epitome of tenacity, believing in yourself, and hard work. Yes. I just, I'm proud of her. And we were on a set looking at each other, both in awe of each other. She's like, I can't believe I'm on your show. And I'm like, I can't believe I'm on your show. Like, oh, right? come on, don't down talk yourself. But it was amazing. They are a talented, beautiful group of people. And them babies, you know, I ate them babies up. <laughs> Now, I love it because you played Quinta Brunson's mama. Look uh -huh. at you looking oh, she's, fabulous. She's a mess. As it. She's we a mess. <laughs> <laughs> she's a mess. And we're going to see you back on there, hopefully. Well, you know, let's call Quinta and talk to her. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you look good, you and Quinta together. Yeah, she kind of looks like my daughter, doesn't she? She does. No, y'all actually look like best friends. That's oh, okay, well, like. I'll take that. You look like best friends. <laughs> I was a very young mother. I had her very young. There you go. <laughs> I love this. You, you know, not only are you acting, I'm watching you, you are a business mogul. Yes. Because you have a hair care line, oh. and it's called TPH by Taraji. I'm looking at, oh, and the packaging. I love the packaging. Now, you, you started this in your kitchen. This is my baby. I am, this is not, I don't, if you guys know me, I don't try to sell y'all anything. Like, mm -hmm. if I can't believe in it, Ooh, I don't put good. my name on it. Yeah, girl. Mm. So, you know, when I got into the business, I never really wore weaves or anything because mm -hmm. I couldn't afford them. <laughs> but um, <laughs> when I got into the business, I moved to L.A. and everyone, you know, I had a lot of black women to me, girl, they snatched my edges, my edges. Yes. Gone. I was like, I don't want to lose my edges. Uh -huh. So um, I started wearing the weaves. You know how we got to yes. do to protect our hair. And But even though the products were probably on the market, there was no education about scalp care. Right. And I was like, something's not making sense. You know, I'm, I'm paying 900 500 to $900 for a facial, but if I don't take care of my scalp, that's gonna end up back on my face. Exactly. And nobody's talking about it. And so the line was created with the scalp care, which is the yellow with the three tri-touch prongs. Oh, right here. Uh -huh. Right. Because if you ever have a weave or women with thick, thick, curly hair, you need to get exactly to Because right scalp. now I'll be doing this, right Girl, here, this. You need some of that master cleanse, it will get right down to your scalp. And then I have a scalp scrub that'll actually cleanse your scalp. Ooh. So I do a whole scalp process before I even start dealing with my hair. So it's started with the scalp care line, and then I remember I, I, I wore my hair, my natural hair, in, um, well, Think Like a Man, the first one, the okay, bob. Okay, yes. The bob. And everybody's like, oh my God, how do you keep your hair so healthy? And I'm a girl's girl. I be sharing my secret. Yes. But I couldn't <laughs> share it in 141 characters. Yeah. So I created a line. <laughs> there you go. You couldn't share it. You yes. created, this is just one of the products. That's just mind. one, but it's many. And, and you're gonna go home with some, so. Yes, so yes. <laughs> that, Taraji. We love you for that. You coming to give us a gift and you giving a gift. Hey, look, I love my it. My father always said, if you are blessed, you have to be a blessing. That is so true. <laughs> Girl, 
You are into so much. You're into so many causes. You're a business mogul. And I'm looking at your nails. OK, you did your own nails yeah. as well. Oh, I did those, too. Did, you did this yourself? I did those. I did these. OK, did like, are you going to come out with your own line, Nails by Raji? Oh. What is going on? You know, the thing about it is, is I have to have an entry point. I mean, their nail, the nails are out there. But what is my entry point? What, what am I saying with the nails out of just trying to make a check, a coin? So I don't know yet. I got to figure out what my... The fact that you were able to do it, I can't do my... <laughs> I put the little press-ons and they be, fa... they be on my breasts, they be on my legs. <laughs> they don't stay on. The fact that you did this, your own nails and your nails right now. Well, I had a lot of time during the, the pandemic. And, you know, YouTube University is a lot... You can learn a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I also, I have a, you know, I have a hair care line, so I'm testing products all the time. I'm just, I have a salon in my house, so I'm always uh, in my salon. Okay. So I'm either doing hair on my. Can wig. you dye my grays, trim my um my split ends <laughs> if I come over there? I don't trust myself with the trimming. I could trim, I can okay. trim, but I can't give you a cut. Okay, but yeah. you could, but you could, you could I dye. I could trim, I could oh, trim. You could yeah. trim. Okay. I, we could... I, I would, I would do like a rinse. I wouldn't put chemicals in your hair. Okay. Well, we gonna I'm do not... one step at a time when I come <laughs> yeah. over to your place. <laughs> okay. I, you know what? This is. I, I love seeing you with your joy. I do. Yeah, I love you. seeing this. Uh, you right now. Thank you. Because you have been very, very open about, you know, mental health struggles. Mm. You've been very open about what you've been going through. Is this what inspired the Boris Lawrence Henson Foundation? Absolutely. Yeah. Not only that, that's my best friend since the seventh grade. Chasing oh my gray gosh. Since the seventh grade, guys. That's I'm my day one. That's my day one. And she runs the foundation, okay. by the way. And, um, you know, we've had our struggles and we're, we've been very open about our struggles. And, um, you know, we, we, we would talk about, like, back in the day when she would struggle with her anxiety and her okay. panic attacks. We used to make fun of it because, you know, we didn't know. We, yeah. weren't, we were ignorant. We didn't talk about it. We don't talk about it in the black and brown communities. That's right. Um, my father struggled. And then when, when I grew up, I became a mother and I started to struggle. My son, I was like, where do we, where do we go? Right. Where do we go that someone understands what I'm going through as a black woman in the world where I don't have to sit down and first have to explain myself to you before we can even get to to yeah. my issues, where is this? And I'm a privileged woman. I can afford a therapist. I can afford $350 an hour. But what about my community that can't? Mm -hmm. So that's when I was like, I heard my father, if you're a blessing, be a blessing. Exactly. And so I started the Boris Lawrence Henson Foundation in honor of my father, but in honor of us. Because we are losing our babies. That's right. They are dying by suicide. And, and it, can, we, it can be prevented if we just talk about it. So we're trying to push legislation um, on, on the Congress floor. We've mm -hmm. already been there where we can get it implemented into the schools. Because how do you get parents to talk about it at home? If it's homework, now we got to talk about there it. There you got it. You know? And you're doing real practical things because I know you're partnering with the Kate Spade Kate Foundation Spade, yes. to support bringing mental wellness to, to the historically black colleges. So yes. you're bringing it to the HBCUs. OK, so, yes. Yes. And so, you're an alumni, like you said, of Howard. So I am. How does that feel? And, and it feels amazing. It's yeah. paying it forward. You know, it's full yeah. circle. I, I graduated. The school was great for me. Now, how can I be of service? And, and I'm always affected by the numbers. 60% um, of student of college dropouts are because of mental health issues. Yeah. 50% of that 60% did not have access to mental wellness or mental resources. Yes. How can I fix that? So we picked... Um, um, Alabama State University is our first university. We yes. partner with Cape Spade, New York, and we're going to implement these wellness pods. Ooh, nice. So nice. this is a yes. place where the students can go, and we're going to start. They're called She Care Pods. We're going to start with women, because if you want to save the world, you got to save the women first. You better go and tell them. You better tell them. And why black women first? Because black women, 84.4% um, of black women are the sole breadwinners, co-breadwinners, primary breadwinners. On top of that, the disparities in pay, the disparities in health, and then the social justice issue. Yes. So, I mean, all of that compacted, you're going to have mental problems, right? So we're starting with the women, but we're also partnering with other companies to do he pods and they pods. We can't leave any students behind. Oh, we are so happy to hear this.